Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be filming a full face of makeup chosen by you guys. And I filmed a few of these before, like in the past, and they're really, really fun because you guys get to like get involved with the video, which is pretty cool. So keep watching the video because if your product is in it, you will get a cheeky little shout out. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna get straight on with it. I'm gonna start off, no, I'm not. I was gonna say I'm gonna start with foundation, but I'm not starting with foundation today because I'm gonna be using a very scary product. Hannah. OG has asked me to use the Makeup Revolution Peel Off Brow Tint and I've never tried anything like this before. I've never used like a tattoo brow product, but I'm going to try and do it today. I'm really nervous because they last for up to no, they don't. They last for up to three days. So if I do a crappy brow, I'm not going to be able to get it off. I went for the one in the shade taupe because I usually get like taupey eyebrow products and they tend to work. Yeah, I'm scared. Anyway, let's get it out of the box. <coughs> it looks black, like it's actually black. Okay, now that I've got like a rough outline, I think I'm just gonna take the actual applicator and just sort of go over it because I've definitely not got enough. Like that's not gonna peel off. There's barely any product on there because I was a little bit scared. <gasps> oh my goodness, now there's absolutely tons of it. Okay, they are definitely really wonky. I don't know what it is about my eyebrows. This one, I always draw it on a little bit more straight. This one always has more of like an arch to it. Yeah. They're just gonna be wonky, but I knew they would be, and that is fine. There's nothing wrong with a wonky brow. Yeah, I've tried my best, and obviously they look super dark right now, but when I peel it off, it will be a lot lighter. Well, I bloody hope so anyway. I really hope so. <laughs> Leave to develop for up to two hours, so I'll probably do like an hour and a half, and then I'll come back and I'll peel them off, and then we can continue with the video. So yeah, I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I am back. I've left it to develop for a couple of hours and I'm now just gonna try and peel it off and see what happens. I don't even know how I'm gonna peel it because, oh no, there we go. I think, I think I've got a bit here. Can you guys see that? It's literally just like peeling off. It's actually quite satisfying. Oh, oh, a dangly bit. I was really hoping it would all peel off in one because that would just be so satisfying. The color underneath is actually pretty decent. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, so that is my first eyebrow. I feel like it's definitely tinted it a little bit. What do you think? I feel like it has worked quite well. It's a really good shade. Like that is the perfect shade for me. They're not perfect. I would still want to fill them in a little bit, but I think it's probably helped. Like it will make filling them in a little bit easier, I think. So I'm now gonna move on to foundation and Alex Ruby said, my favorite foundation is the Maybelline 24 hour Superstay foundation. So I've decided to pick that up and I went for the shade number three, True Ivory, because I think that looks like the palest one. Okay, so it comes in a nice little glass bottle and I'm thinking there's a squirty pump. Oh, sticker looking pretty good so far i'm just gonna blend this in with my beauty blender so my first impression is pretty good actually i'd say this is one of the best foundations i've tried in a long time like it blended out really nice it's left like a nice finish it's like really full coverage as well but my skin just looks really nice thanks who who were you again who were you alex alex ruby thank you very much i'd say this is probably going to be one of my new faves like i literally don't have a bad word to say so most of this video will be like testing new products and first impressions but i have thrown in like a couple of things that i have used before so for concealer katie oakley said to use the makeup revolution conceal and define and i went for this one because i've tried it before but it ran out within like a week it, it disappeared like I don't know where it went because I barely used it and I feel like it was gone before I knew it like so yeah I thought this video would be a good it's good good it's good it's <laughs> okay I'm gonna try this is gonna be the one I thought this video would be a good excuse <laughs> to <laughs> to what what I thought this video would be a good excuse to repurchase this <sighs> I'm gonna do it like real close to the mic I've, I swear I'm like becoming an ASMR channel apart from I'm just really crap at it I bet that sounded decent. It's super full coverage and it's also 
in so many different shades so you can get one that proper matches you. <laughs> proper matches you. I also like how the sponge is so big, like it's so quick to use because you've just got a whopping great big sponge on there. Pretty decent. I say decent way too much. Pretty decent. Jeez, I'm proper going hard on that, aren't I? Like hammering my eye, you're not meant to do that. Do not take tips from me. Although I think you guys have probably learned that by now to not take tips from me. <laughs> Ooh. I'm excited for this. This looks cool. Okay, wait, let me find the comment. Jade Z said to use the NYX Holographic Halo Finishing Powder because she is intrigued by it. And I tell you, I'm very intrigued as well because this is apparently holographic powder. Apparently, this goes all over your face. I know. So it is a loose powder, but I mean, you don't get much in there. Literally, like the product starts halfway through that bottle. Cheeky boggers. Anyway, it is a loose powder. Oh, 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 what? That has instantly given me a highlight. I've read something wrong. This can't be for all over your face. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. <laughs> like my face in this mirror looks purple. <laughs> It doesn't even look as funny on camera, although it does look quite funny, but it doesn't look as purple. There is nothing I can do, guys. Like, I can't get it off. So, for bronzer slash contour, Jodie BXO said to try the Nip and Fab Contour Palette, and I thought that sounded interesting because I've never tried any of their products before, so I decided to pick it up, and it looks quite good, actually. This is the light one, obviously. I went for the light one. <gasps> oh! Ah, uh, so I'm gonna start off with the lightest one and I'm just gonna take a bit of that and try and do a bit of contour. I think I've just found my new favorite contour product. Like honestly, it works so well. I feel like that's actually a good contour for me, isn't it? The one time I do a decent contour and I look like a shiny moon. Oh, am I swearing? Oh, I'm swearing with one hand. This one's a bit more polite. <laughs> I'm now just gonna take a bit of the like warmer bronzy color and I'm just gonna sort of dust that all over a little bit. I think it worked so well. I like that it was just really subtle. So you could just like build it up and it's a really nice light color, blended out really nicely. I'm not gonna use the highlighter because it doesn't really look very pigmented at all. And I have another highlighter to come in the video. So I'm gonna skip that, but I'm now gonna move on to blush. Okay, so Amelia Lucy said, hi Soph, please can you try the L'Oreal Peach Blush? Bl what? What is a blush? <laughs> What is wrong with me? The peach blush. Love you. Love you too. And yes, I sure can. I've got one right here. And again, I've not tried this before. It's the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush. I think that's the one you meant. I mean, would you use that for blush? How? I thought it was matte, but it's actually got like a really nice gold shimmer to it. Shut up. Oh my God. It smells like peach. Like it actually smells like peach. You know when products are like, yeah, we smell like peach or we smell like this thing. And then you're like, no, you don't, you liar. This actually smells like peach. As for the product, it's definitely added like a nice bit of color to my cheeks. Nothing much, it's quite like natural, but I guess that's quite nice. It's nice to have a little natural flush of peach on your cheeks. Thumbs up. So for highlighter, a lot of people were asking me to use this because I have used it in a video once before, but I did it like right at the end of a challenge video. So a lot of people probably didn't see it because I doubt anyone watches my videos till the end, like blooming hell. So Gail Laura XOX said, to try your new Ofra highlighter for subscribers choose your makeup video love ya love you too and here it is and this is the glazed donut Ofra highlighter do you see do you see that it is so intense and so glowy little bit on the other side little bit on my nose so i'm now gonna move straight on to eyeshadow and i'm just gonna leave my brows like they don't look that bad they just look a bit more natural than normal i think so ain't nothing wrong with that and for eyeshadow we've got the 
Jessica Boatwright, I think I've said that right, said to use the I Heart Makeup Chocolate and Peaches palette. Do you think this is gonna smell like chocolate and peaches? Chocolate, oh my goodness, this video is so nicely scented. Mmm, I like that. So yeah, this is the palette. It's in like a little chocolate bar style packaging. This is what, okay. This is what it looks like on the inside. I'm just gonna like take a mixture of sort of these two and just kind of pop that in there. I'll do, won't it? Now I'm just gonna add in a bit of the slightly darker one. And then for the shimmer, I think I might just go for this highlighty, kind of like champagne-y colour. I think I'm just gonna go for a bit of that. That is actually a really pretty shimmer. Like I started off using the brush and then I went in with my finger. That definitely worked a bit better. So yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm now just gonna take, uh, let's go with this one. I'm just gonna put that underneath a little bit. Overall, this palette isn't really that thrilling. Like there's nothing crazy that I could have used. It's all sort of like very neutral colors. I think that's quite nice. It's very good for like every day. So now moving on to mascara. What have we got? Liberty Lane Fry said, I'd love to see you use the Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara. I love you so much. Thank you for making me happy. Aw, love you too. Yes, I can use that one because that's actually the mascara that I use most of the time. And if I'm honest, I didn't really want to buy a new mascara. <laughs> this is a really good one like honestly if you want long lashes really quick this is what you need does a pretty good job i'm now going to move on to lips which is actually the final step so we've got soph 98 says please can you test one of soph's new revolution lipsticks so we've got someone called soph wanting me to use one of soph's lipsticks and yeah if you didn't see my video was it last week i think it was last week i tested out soph's new palette and i tested one of the lipsticks but i haven't tried the other two shades yet so today i'm going to be using the shade cake which is like a really nice pinky nude color it's such nice packaging and it's also got soph engraved like onto the lipstick which is so cool they are just so creamy and easy to apply like they're just the nicest formula ever so yeah if you want to see like my full first impressions of soph's new products i'll leave the video links below where i did that but yeah cake gets a big thumbs up from me and there we go this is my full face of makeup chosen by you guys and as always i feel like you did a really good job i think i liked everything that i tried well apart from the holographic powder but I don't really understand that. Like that is a mystery. I do not understand. But yeah, apart from that, I did really like everything. So thank you very much for your recommendations. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these in the future or another like clothing one because those are really fun as well. Yeah, thumbs up to let me know and thank you for watching and I will see you very, very soon. <laughs> Goodbye.